welcome back to the daily dope um all right we've been seeing uh basically decriminalization and legalization and whatever <laughs> people talking about legalization and a lot of these places that have decriminalized uh, and we also have places that don't decriminalize, but they legalize, which kind of sucks because then it still opens the door for arrests or whatever. <clears throat> but the latest trend is, I guess, uh, <laughs> the, the district attorney's just not wanting to prosecute these cases. And you can't blame them because if you go to the courthouse and look at the dockets, you're going to see that basically the court's time is completely wasted with these drug cases especially marijuana cases um and the one thing that people so are starting to talk about more and more because it's just so obvious that you can't fucking talk about it or not talk about it is the racial disparity of these uh arrests it's it's just obscene i mean look at this the yellow is black people <laughs> All right, and the blue is white people. This is ridiculous. Oh, you might. Oh, that's in Philadelphia. Yeah, Philadelphia is about almost even black and white. Thirty-seven white, forty-three black. So there's more black people in Philadelphia than white people, by just a little bit. <laughs> Not ten times more. And if you're telling me that black people smoke that much more weed or that many more black people smoke weed, yeah, get the fuck out of here. <clears throat> So the Philadelphia uh, district attorney that wants to drop these cannabis cases, his name is Larry Krasner, and he just got got in last year. It was a, kind of a big story, but it got buried in the election because, you know, Trump and Hillary and all the other marijuana <clears throat> laws that got passed and such. So here we go. Philadelphia District Attorney Larry Krasner says he will drop all current and any future cannabis possession cases brought to his office by the city's police department. Krasner told reporters Thursday that his office tossed the case earlier this week after noticing a spike in marijuana arrests. <clears throat> um, now, let's if you revisit Philadelphia uh, and Pennsylvania in a, in a larger sense... Um, are moving towards a medical marijuana system and I believe some of the dispensaries just opened last week for the first time and no one knows how that's gonna actually be uh, I, the way they did it is they divided the state up into like these regions and each region has their own rules and they're gonna have like a somebody making the rules in each region so who knows if everybody's got their shit together for all that yet but just with the word, just with like a hint of marijuana laws getting more um, relaxed and people not wanting to get, you know, see a bunch of arrests for marijuana, what do you see? A spike in arrests. I mean, this is the, this is the case everywhere. Michigan, I, I keep having to bring this up. We've had this medical marijuana law in place for about 10 years now. And in that 10 years, marijuana arrests have actually spiked 16%. So, I mean, you know, you need to decriminalize when you legalize. That's kind of like the underlying message, I guess, I'm trying to get through there. So Krasner says he he felt it was the right thing to do and that his office could use those resources to prosecute murder cases. Most people who are caught in the city with small amounts of marijuana receive cautions, or I mean citations, but Krasner says that some are still being charged with misdemeanors. He says he'll drop those cases and won't prosecute people for having small amounts of cannabis. Quote, we are going to tell them, yes, drop any cases that are simply marijuana possession. Krasner said at a press conference on Thursday, according to Brian McCrony of NBC10 Philadelphia. White citations, black arrests. Four years ago, Philadelphia mayor gave the city's police officers the option to issue citations instead of making arrests for cannabis possession. Krasner said that 90% of cannabis possession incidences are now dismissed with a simple fine, but one in 10 people stopped for cannabis were still being arrested, charged, and prosecuted. That will now end. <clears throat> Quote, what we're talking about is the 10% or so that are being charged as they used to be as misdemeanors in court, Krasner said. Those 10%ers were overwhelmingly people of color. 
The racial disparity in cannabis arrests was highlighted last year by Chris Goldstein of Philly 420. As has happened in a number of cities around the nation, Philadelphia decriminalized down, uh, down ratcheting, reduced the number of arrests by about almost 90%, but the racial disparities in those arrests persisted. Keep in mind that Philadelphia's population is about 37% white and 43% black. Here's the chart Goldstein posted on philly.com. And yep, not too long ago, 2014, we had 2,158 arrests of black people in Philadelphia for, I believe this is just possession only, simple possession. Simple, but not too simple, because you can go to jail for it. (laughs) And the courts are basically, like I said, the courts are just swamped with these cases, and the jails are just full of people with these petty ass marijuana charges goldstein pointed out earlier today that philadelphia situation uh, does not extend to the rest of pennsylvania where more than twenty-seven thousand people were arrested for cannabis in 2017 outside of philly the police uh, and prosecutors of pennsylvania are turning a little bit of green into a lifetime of problems for a big group of young adults there were 27,133 arrests for cannabis last year and fewer than 20% of those were for more serious charges of growing or selling. So we're looking at like over 80% of 27,000 arrests were for possession. The Commonwealth saw 20,392 adults and 2,269 juveniles charged during 2017 for low-level marijuana possession, according to the Pennsylvania Uniform Crime Reporting System. That means police were arresting 55 adults every day simply for the act of having cannabis in the Keystone State. The number nearly equals all other drug possession arrests combined. This week's policy announcement does not prevent the police from still arresting someone for cannabis possession, but if that does happen, Krasner's office will now dismiss the case. I did it because I felt it was the right thing to do, Krasner said. We could use those resources to solve homicides. And that's another thing is it's not just the courts that are booked up. It's the, you know, if you even have detectives that are working on specifically homicide, like you see on TV, they got their fancy little homicide unit at the police department. It's not real life, man. Some of these police departments are so strapped that they're lucky to even have detectives. (laughs) So, you know, you get these detectives, they're too busy running weed cases, calling labs to see if they got the weed evidence done yet for their case that they have. And it's just a waste of everybody's time and money. Kras- and who's paying for all those, all that shit anyway, by the way? That's you. Krasner worked for years in Philadelphia as a civil rights attorney known for suing the police department. His move follows a growing... Uh, nationwide trend of big city district attorneys ending the long-standing practice of prosecuting residents for small amounts of cannabis in states where adult use cannabis is not legal last year the top prosecutors in brooklyn and houston enacted similar policies meanwhile in cities where cannabis is already legal for adults officials are moving to vacate past cannabis convictions seattle mayor jenny durkin announced last week that the city will move to vacate an estimated 500 past criminal convictions for cannabis possession. Durkin called the effort a necessary first step of righting the wrongs of the past. Colorado's governor, meanwhile, is considering whether to grant clemency to roughly 40 people serving time for cannabis offenses. And San Francisco County District Attorney George Gaskin recently vowed to toss out or reduce thousands of criminal convictions for cannabis dating back to the 70s. So that's, uh, there you got it. Um, it's a good trend. Uh, I'm looking forward to this being just pretty much every town, every court, every jurisdiction, um, and even juries. I mean, if, if you're ever on a jury, if you ever get the privilege of being on a jury, it might even be a weed case. Just go ahead and do some jury nullification on that. And, you know, spread the word about jury nullification because <clears throat> all that basically says is if the jury agrees that whatever the, the, the charge is isn't really a crime, then 
they don't have to make a decision and it's a mistrial so that's all i got um good job philadelphia good job larry krasner um maybe other uh, district attorneys around the country can follow these other cities leads and maybe end the stupid war on weed one way or another however we can get it done